Hello, I'm Chef Lillian Elida and welcome to the God and Goodness Kitchen. Today I'm preparing two traditional yet simple recipes using my God and Goodness soya pieces and the new God and Goodness soya mix. To start with, I'm going to start with a classic Italian dish called lasagna. In order for me to have lasagna, I'll need three ingredients. That is a bechamel sauce, a white sauce, my tomato based sauce and lasagna sheets, which I've already soaked in here. All right, so now how do I prepare my soya mince? Very simple. I bring up a pot full of water to a boil and voila, I get my pack. One pack weighs 200 grams. That's about one cup of, one cup of soya minces, which gives me four portions. So you cut your soya mince pack and what you get later on is a product that looks like this. Fresh, simple, and natural. Then you add it in the hot boiling water. And you let it boil for about seven to 10 minutes and later on you strain it. Whilst my water is boiling, I'll show you the final product of the soya mince. That is this lovely one. See, it doesn't look any different, same. All right, now that I've shown you how the soya mince works, let me start off with my bechamel sauce. Bechamel sauce is a classic white sauce. Goes well with everything and that's, that's what makes the lasagna so rich and flavorful. To start with, I'll need butter. That's 50 grams of butter. This is six tablespoons of flour, white flour. And I have my cheese, just for the toppings later on. And then I also have half a liter of milk. You can use to have full milk or the normal one. And now, going to the process. My pot is hot and ready to start with the bechamel sauce. So I put in my butter. Remember, don't burn it too fast. So my butter is going to melt. This is medium heat on five. So we start by melting the butter first. And remember, you can, if you have hot problems, you can always replace the butter with oil. It works perfectly well as well. So, melting my butter. And if you don't have butter, because butter tends to be a bit expensive, you can use margarine. Works just as fine. So my butter is melted, as you can see. Took, didn't take too long. And then now I'm going to add my flour. Remember, six tablespoons of flour. I'm going to stir it until I get a nice thick consistency. The butter and the flour has come together to make a nice butter. What I'm going to do next, slowly, I'm going to start pouring in my milk. And this is very simple. Stirring it. So now going back to the recipe again for the bechamel sauce, I use 50 grams of butter or margarine. I use six tablespoons of flour, white flour, and half a liter of milk. And I melted my butter first, added in my flour, and then slowly started adding my milk. Very simple. So I'll let it simmer for a while, then it starts thickening up. Meanwhile, my my bechamel is simmering and coming together. My soya mince is getting ready. And this should have cooked for about two more minutes, so I have another, I have a bit more time to prepare the rest. Very simple. So, this is TV magic, and as we always do, get magic from the box. So, to prepare, I already have already made soya mince in a bowl. So, using my tablespoon, I'm going to get some, fit it up in here. 
And the thing about soya milk, it's so versatile. You can use so many things with it. You can create a lot of things using soya mints. And it's a new product on the Zambian market. As I said before, it's very natural. It doesn't have that aftertaste that a lot of other soya brands have, but the Golden Good and Soya Mints is on point. And it goes fast, right? Let me just show you to prove my point. So I keep on stirring my bechamel, or white sauce as you like to call it. And my pan here is getting ready. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil. A bit. Bring that up to a boil for a bit. Once my oil is getting heated up a bit, I'm going to chop my garlic. Just fine chop it. Italians use a lot of garlic in their, in their dishes. And it just adds that final flavor that you need to, to enhance the rest of the produce, to enhance the rest of the ingredients that we're going to have in our lasagna dish. So, I already have a bit of chopped vegetables that we're going to use. So, sorry, the onions. This is about half, half to one onion, depending on how much you like onions. Remember, kitchen and cooking is all about personal preference. Some people like things a bit more, some people don't like. So you can just add as many and as much as you like your person because you want to cook it. You want it to taste according to what you want and your standards. 